Good minion. Excuse me. Good morning. Uh, welcome back to Figure Breakfast Show, Expressly on S3. And when it comes to minions, yes, it's a takeover, but there's a lot more to that. JP Sebastian, please explain. Uh, that's right. In this segment, which I'm now calling Minyao, you know. <laughs> Stop. Everyone calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I want to unpack for you what it yes. is that went into the minions, what it is that goes into the language, what it is that goes into the popularity and whatever. But before we do all of that, okay. you know who else is popular? Is one of the greatest actors we have, Oscar nominee Steve Carell, who voices Gru. He's yes. an essential part of this too, right? Even Absolutely. though they steal the thunder, the yellow thunder that the minions are. So I'll tell you what, I want to show you a bit of a behind the scenes because we love when we see actors in the voice recording booth yeah, yeah. and they're giving their energy, they're giving their all. Steve Carell is a master at this. Here he is trying to embody 12-year-old Gru in some behind the scenes from Minions, The Rise of Gru, coming out today. These guys. Hello? <clears throat> Everybody here for the interview? Me too. Distinguished villains, my name is Gru. You seriously think a puny little child can be a villain? Yes, I, I am pretty despicable. You don't want to cross me. <laughs> Come back when you've done something evil to impress me. That is artistry right there. I love watching an actor. Now, the thing is, I feel like there's always an expectation for an actor to be like those serious roles and crying and delivering these punchy lines. But sometimes the craft is that space too. I'd recommend Foxcatcher with Steve Carell, masterpiece. Yes. Um, uh, however, like the thing is like, you know, sometimes get a voiceover actor to do it. They usually don't get actors to do it, but Steve Carell is all rounded. I'm looking around a gigantic minion head. Yes. You get comfortable, you're the VIP. <laughs> Call, we can just make us look at each other. It's a, okay. um, but, you know, it's an, obviously Steve Carell's talk is. Yes. Let's, let's put that to the side for one bit. There's a big glaring yellow elephant in the room. Indeed, there um, is. You probably want to know how we got here, right? Well, I mean, it's, minions have been here for centuries. I mean, I've watched all the movies. So there was a, a, like, a huge sort of a drive for them to Their find. Their boss was a, a T Rex boss, at some point. That's correct. So, and I mean, we've, we've done Jurassic World Dominion. So now let's uh -huh. move on yes, yes, to, yes. to the minions and where they come from. Why are we here? So, what's, what's really, uh, okay, obviously, like the raw numbers, even though that stuff gets boring, we'll do it real quick. So, minions, the, f yes, you guys, <laughs> looking at me accusatorily here. Uh, fifth highest earning uh, animation of all time. Uh, uh, as far as a franchise goes, Despicable Me, which, you know, these all five parts of, Minions, including Gru's stories, yeah. uh, the uh, highest earning franchise of all time, $3.7 billion across the world. Uh, and now you've got to consider that Illumination uh, Studios comes along in 2010 to bring us Minions. Yeah. Disney's been around since 1937. Pixar's been around since 1995. Pixar's got 26 films under their belt. Disney has 60. DreamWorks has like 42 or something. New Kid on the Block. It seems really appropriate that these little guys are sabotaging the big guys in yeah. a kind of way. Those are all the numbers and whatever. What's really fascinating about how the Minions arise is that they come from nothing. You've got Cinco Paul, who is the, the, the writer, one of the co-writers of the original Despicable Me, who said, really what they were being treated as in the script is, you know, Carl say maybe goes to makeup, and there you say to someone, okay, look, uh, something happens, and someone does his makeup, and Carl appears on set. But the directors, Chris Renard and uh, Pierre Coffin, were like, wait, why can't we give life to these things? So they were really just a set of instructions without faces in the script when it originally started. No one thought they'd be a sequel, no one thought that they'd actually be embodied things, and this is why they actually look kind of simplistic as they, they do, and they're so effective for that reason we're just going to be a bunch of macho bond type uh, henchmen yeah. but ended up being the the lovable little pull shaped tic tac looking things that we have here today uh, pretty incredible i want to see more journey chart. you want to see more i'm so yes. sorry i probably eaten into my own time here like a proper villain tell you what how about i show you <laughs> a clip now of the stars uh, before us making their hollywood walk of fame uh, getting their foot stamped Ooh. as best dominion can minion clearly standing on ceremony for this let's have a look at the ceremony itself the minions walk of fame in hollywood they're excited Someone that I have had the good fortune to work with on numerous occasions, and someone that I not only consider to be a friend, but a casual acquaintance. He's funny, endearing, kind, and sometimes exasperating. He is a devoted companion. He speaks in an unintelligible gibberish. He loves bedtime stories, bananas, and expelling gas. And he is yellow. But Alan Arkin is not here today. <laughs> of course, I am speaking about Bob. Bob's first words to me were unforgettable. He walked up, looked me square in the eye, and said, 
Padutu Padami, Lakaru La Pinata Parabota. And you know what? He was right. I can save money on my car insurance. It's been such a pleasure to be a part of the Despicable Me series. The writers, directors, animators, and producers have created a world full of silliness and fun and kindness and love. At their core, these stories are really about family, the ones that you were born with, as well as the ones that you find along the way. So today we celebrate Bob, a symbol of happiness and warmth and cheerful idiocy. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that is sensational. And the entire show dominated by minions for good reason. Bringing joy on a Friday. JP Sebastian, thanks a lot for the joy. You've brought in information behind the background of the minions. And don't worry, we'll be right back with more of these guys and more entertainment on your Feel Good Breakfast show. <laughs>